Managing Multiple Google Accounts from the AACPS Office of Instructional Technology. Do you have multiple Google accounts? Maybe you have an AACPS uh, G Suite for EDU account. Maybe you have a personal Gmail account, and you might even have a child within the AACPS school system, so they also have a G, G Suite account. It can get oftentimes very confusing trying to manage these multiple accounts, especially if you're going through Google Drive. This video will walk you through the way to manage those multiple accounts and switch between them by signing in to the Chrome browser. Here, I have a browser window in Chrome in which I am already signed in. I know I'm signed in because up here in the upper right-hand corner of my screen, I can see my Google icon profile picture to the right of the, excuse me, to the left, of the three vertical dots. When I select this option, you will see, again, my name as well as my email address is loaded here. There's no blue button that says that I am syncing or that I need to sign in to sync or log into Chrome. From the bottom of this window, I'm going to be given the option to add an account. This is where I'm going to add that second or even third account if I wish. I'm going to hit the Add button, and I will be prompted in this login box to name the account that I'm going to log into a second time. You even have the option here to go ahead and create a desktop shortcut for this second user. Hit the blue Add button, and now a second instance of the Chrome browser will open. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you'll see that there is going to be two of those Chrome browser window icons. One, the first one, has my AACPS Google profile picture. The second one has a generic option that Google has chosen for me. This is now my second Chrome window. I can tell because by selecting the icon in the upper right-hand corner, I now have a blue Turn on Sync button. And again, just sort of a generic Google icon photo that has been filled in for me. I'm going to hit that Turn on Sync option, and I'm going to sign into my second Google account. This may or may not be an AACPS account. If it's an AACPS account, you will, of course, be prompted to enter your email address twice. If it is a generic personal Gmail account, you'll only have to sign in one time. Once you've gone through the steps of signing in and entering your password, you will see Again, you'll be prompted to save the password. Make sure you always select never. You'll be prompted to verify the second account. And as always, be prompted to link your data. At this point, sync has been turned on. So you're gonna select the yes, I'm in. Now, when I come down to the bottom of my screen, you'll see that I have a two Chrome icon pictures still, but the second one has now filled in with the Chrome profile picture for my second account. I can also tell by going to the upper right-hand corner and selecting my icon photo. Now, again, the second account will show the name of the account and the email address. Underneath, I will now have two options where I can switch back and forth between my original account that I was signed into as well as my second account. With this option of having multiple Chrome browsers and actually signing into the Chrome browser rather than within Google Drive, you can add as many accounts as you wish. So you could have your personal Gmail account, your work Gmail or your work AACPS Google account, as well as your child's AACPS Google account added here. This will make it efficient and effective to switch between the accounts without getting Google Drives confused. If you have any questions, please contact the AACPS Office of Instructional Technology.